Good morning, first vlog of 2024. Happy New Year! By the time you watch this, it probably won't be the start of January anymore. It is the 5th of January today and I am working on getting my motivation back for work. <laughs> it's so hard to come back to work after such a long time off. I took a much longer time off this time after John Lewis because I was just so, so, so tired. And I didn't plan on stopping work until the 23rd, but because I was just so mentally, physically exhausted, I think I stopped work pretty much like the 18th of December. I did absolutely nothing all Christmas and I got ill, I got COVID, then I had another cold. I'm still not completely over it. So all I did was rest, chill and do nothing. But also I got very, very, very bored. But do you know when you're bored and you don't want to do anything about it? You're so bored, but you don't want to help yourself get out of it. That's that's how I felt all Christmas. And now that it's got, it's like time to go back to work, I'm struggling to get back into the swing of things. So this video will be all about getting my motivation back, my spark back, if you will. So I'm up today, dressed, hair's done. I feel good. Um, I gotta go to the dentist though. So that sort of put a spanner in the works. I had a full to-do list for today. So I'm prepping for the launch of the new products that I launched in John Lewis. There's things that sold out like my pouches and my mugs. They sold out in John Lewis and I've been waiting. I, I didn't want to bring them to the shop over Christmas because people wouldn't have been able to get them in time for Christmas presents anyway. So I thought, leave it till January. It's something to look forward in January. So I'm prepping for the launch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new products. That is the washi tape, both the magic, making magic one and around the world. Making magic pouches, which I have to make. The mugs also, which I have to make. They both make your magic and I did Kyrie but I'm not sure how popular the Kyrie Deeds stuff is going to be online. That goes, that's the same for the pin as well, which is here. Yeah, I'm not sure how popular like the Welsh things are going to be online because I know my Welsh audience is actually quite small. And also then my Happy Mail tote bag and the Making Magic tote bag. And I think that's everything. That is what I'm doing, prepping for that launch. I have a long to-do list, but first I have to go to the dentist. Remember I was saying about how dark it is during the winter months here, even in the middle of the day, and it makes it hard to film because it makes, when when it's dark, I use my phone to film. It's an iPhone 13. And when I film when it's dark, it goes like grainy. So I had this light for Christmas. It's very bright. So like, that is it without the light. And I'm pretty sure it will be going grainy right now. Hopefully, I don't know whether it looks a bit weird, I don't know whether I like it, but hopefully this fixes the problem. Also, I have a new sunlight lamp, like an SAD lamp, and I love it, I'll show you. So this is my new Lumi lamp. It's supposed to like give energy and help you feel like you're seeing the sun a bit more in winter, but look how bright it is. Are we too bright now? We probably are too bright. But yeah, this is what the light looks like on top of my phone and the Lumi light at the same time. The Lumi light wasn't bought for filming. It was bought purely because, like I said, I didn't have any energy over Christmas and I sort of worried. I sort of worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get my, my motivation back over Christmas because I've never felt that way before. Usually I'm ready and rearing to go, but this year, I don't know whether it's because John Lewis was so intense. This year was the first year I've not felt the desire to get back to work as quickly as usual. I'm feeling it a little bit now. I'm doing everything I can to help bring the energy back. That's all I need is just, I just need to kick up the arse really. So yeah, the lamp, the Lumi lamp is meant to help with that, I hope. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. You're such a good boy. Okay, oh so gentle. <laughs> As always, I'm running late. We gotta go. good as expected i mean i'm glad but yeah it's like 50 pound to be told that everything is fine as usual 
I mean, I'm glad there's no problems, I'd rather that, but yeah, it's just expensive. I have to go get Lucasade for my mum, but I thought I'd pick up myself one and try this Caribbean Crush flavour. I don't know if this is new, I don't drink Lucasade, but I thought maybe it would taste like pina colada sort of thing. I don't know why it's because I've had COVID, but everything just tastes, it just tastes fizzy. It just tastes fizzy. It's terrible. I've just been to the dentist and I've decided to get a fizzy drink. Tropical fruit and coconut flavour. So, I'm back in the studio. It is quarter past 12. So it's a bit later than I wanted to start things today, but it's okay. We have the rest of the day to do things. I'm going to print more making magic pouches today and hopefully get on to printing mugs and I don't know if I'm gonna lose the sunlight because then I want to take pictures of them but it's 12 o'clock already and the sun is pretty much gone or too low by 2 p.m so I don't know if I'm gonna get round to that let's print some pouches so the last time I was printing pouches it was quite a lot of trial and error I'm not sure if the auto press was not I don't think it was pressing hard enough and because it's an auto press you can't manually adjust the pressure so I found a way around that by placing another sweater or something underneath the thing that I was printing so fingers crossed it all goes to plan Making magic transfers. Maybe putting them on these pouches. People like them if I can show you properly. People like them for craft pouches to store their crochet hooks or their wool or yarn or their paintbrushes or their pencils. It's like a nightmare with them before John Lewis. I didn't film it. I had such a nightmare and I figured it out. It works. Ah, oh, right, I'm glad. It is time to wrap the sublimation prints around the mugs. So I'm going to be printing the mugs next. I found that when I'm doing it, it's really, it puts off like a, it's very really smelly. I don't know how, the best way to say that is just really, really smelly when I do it. Like it smells very chemically. So I always have the window open and things. So now it's on to pressing mugs. I've already done a few. I'm not gonna touch them because they're very hot, but they are here. Making magic and some Kyra Dees ones. Now I have a few more to press. They're all wrapped up. It took me a while and then I got the hang of it. Like I know how to do it now without taking like six years to wrap them. I'm gonna pop them all in the heat press here. Temperature, your timer. I guess that's like to put up and down. Yeah, obviously. Oh my God. <sighs> I, I think I'm still like lacking some brain cells after COVID. Like, obviously the plus and the minus was to put up and down the temperature. <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah, I have a bunch to press. Am I gonna do that now? It is a photography day and I've been trying my best to take pictures of these tote bags which I think look great where they are. So all I've done is stuck like a little command hook up here on the wall and then hopefully it'll be a nice background for pictures is what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to get all the angles so you can see the tote bag in all its glory and I've also put a bit of tissue paper in there to puff it out a little bit. So we just had our first co-working session of 2024 and it went so well. I edited all the pictures that I took this morning. I just need to take pictures of the Kyra D's mug, which is here and then once that's done that's all the pictures done i'm also preparing a bundle deal so i have quite a lot of the making magic things now i've got tote bags pouches sweaters key rings enamel pins mugs i have loads of making magic things in this collection and i'm thinking and i thought 
it'd be great to do a little bundle deal. So I'm thinking this will include a sweater, a mug and a keychain. And they'll be available on Friday with the update as well and all the new products. If you're feeling a little bit stuck like me and you have big goals and plans and dreams that you want to achieve in 2024, may I introduce to you Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of online inspirational classes from photography to graphic design to illustration to business help. And I just love their on-demand platform with stackable lessons so that members can learn at their own pace, no matter what skill level you're at, whether you're a beginner or a professional. Skillshare have recently introduced this new thing called Learning Pass. And Learning Pass are curated class collections to master a specific skill. For example, this one here called Your Creative Business. Build it, brand it and launch it. This will be great if you're just starting out or you have plans to start your own business this year. The class takes you through the very beginnings of starting your own business, your brand story, find an audience, building it online, and how to maintain and sustain your business and grow. This new year, why not invest in yourself and your goals by starting a learning journey on Skillshare? Skillshare are kindly offering the first 500 people to use my link, a one month free trial in the description below. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get on with the rest of the vlog good morning it is wednesday today and we have one more day until the patreon shop update and two more days until the public shop update so i've been working out this new like layout in my planner and it seems to be working so all my life since school i've used a weekly planner with the days of the week you know on a double page spread and it's not enough space i've it's taken me all these years to realize it's not enough space for me to write down my daily tasks and what I need to do. It doesn't, the structure just doesn't work for me anymore. So I've been looking very specifically for this daily planner that is spiral bound with all the things that I need in there. And quite frankly, it doesn't exist. So I've just been writing out my own. My main task for today is to take pictures of the pouches because I've done pictures for everything else. I got like a little checklist in here as well. I took pictures of the washi tape. Um, oh, I took pictures of the Kyrdeeth mugs as well. So it's Kyrdeeth mugs and also the Making Magic pouches. Once those pictures are done, it's time to work on the descriptions on the website. Make sure all the SEO is working, all the pictures look good and everything's functional. Ready to set it all live for my Patreons exclusively tomorrow. Here are the pouches. I just need to stage like a nice photo of them and get some props and make it look nice, as nice as it can be. These actually sold out in John Lewis and I, I can't I can't believe it's still. These sold out and the mugs sold out. So I've been reprinting loads for the website drop um, and I hope I hope it's enough. It's so hard to get good light in this time of year. I'm thinking the sun is too strong, a bit stronger than I'd like. I don't like the shadows that it casts, but the way the sun is in the sky this time of year, I can't really change much about that. And this is the room that I take all my pictures in. So, a bit unsure of what to do. Ooh. This area has slightly better light. Needs a bit of a clean though. I'm also going to be using some like scissors and pens and pencils and things and hopefully stage like a nice photo. Maybe something like this or with that angle. Taking some of the Coyote's Skyline mug as well. So once I'm happy with all the pictures I've taken, which I think I have some good ones, I then edit them on my phone. So I can't film this bit because I also use my phone to film. But first time for some tea. Good boy. <laughs> I still always get worried before a launch. And I think because I had such a long time off over Christmas, like the longest, and I know that it would have been a better time to release all these new goodies before Christmas, but because I did John Lewis, I was there until the 10th 
of December and I didn't want to release them online at the same time as I was in John Lewis. I'm not sure if people are still going to want these things because they're quite giftable items like mugs and the pouches and the new pins and, and things like that. They're quite giftable so I'm not sure why people are still shopping for gifts. Did you hear that? Are you okay Mochi? Are you okay sir? Yeah. This might actually be the most organized shop update I've ever done. Like, I think I'm ready. I've done, everything is scheduled to go live tomorrow on the Patreon exclusive shop at 6 p.m. And it'll all do it automatically itself. So there is nothing left for me to do shop update wise apart from marketing. But before that, I need to get on to packing orders. So that is what we're gonna do now. So I'm on sale currently on these A4 desk pads they are a bestseller they've i designed them i think back in 2020 or was it 2019 it might have been 2019 and they are undated 50 pages they've been a bestseller ever since and these are currently on sale because it's the perfect time of year to get organized and sort out your 2024 do i have any free stickers i don't oh yes i do i have one i usually pop in a freebie when i can but then sometimes i run out so I would say most orders contain a freebie, but not all. This is still like one of my favorite sweater designs, the one more chapter design. And I think it's just perfect this time of year. It's so cozy and everyone's like in their reading era now and everyone's cozy up reading books, which reminds me, I need to actually finish the one that I started. And then of course we have the Making Magic sweater. I love this collection. It is one of my favorites. I just keep expanding on it. So we got mugs come in, pouches and tote bags to match this sweater this week. Let's turn this one. So we have one more chapter, Making Magic and Life is a Roller Coaster. I might fold that again actually. So here is the Life is a Roller Coaster design. I think this one's going all the way to Australia. Making magic in a medium, is that right? Yeah. The last medium, making magic.
So it is the end of the day now. Um, I'm going to go and see my parents, I think. My mum wants help with a logo for her Etsy shop because she started making clay earrings. Dad wants help with the laser cutter. He has started his own Etsy shop recently. So I'm basically playing the role of a business coach slash graphic designer, everything all in one. So I'm going to go and help my parents with things like that. So this is my dad's little studio setup, all nice and organized. And this is the new air assist, which basically helps it from burning the wood. And X Tool have also kindly gifted us this hexagon shaped, or is it hexagon? Honeycomb shaped base, which is it, here. It help stop the wood from burning. <laughs> so we'll do a little demonstration of how the honeycomb thing and the air assist works to help stop like burning on acrylic and wood and things. Cause I know I had a lot of issues before, like melting the edges and things mm -hmm. and leaving burn marks. So this should stop it. This holds it in place. Because when you put the air assist on, it will blow the wood away. Oh. Get a simple star shape. And we will just put him into another one. Right there. So the one on the left was done without the air assist on. You can see the burn marks around the edges. And the one on the right was done with the air assist on, which is pretty much perfect. So basically now I need to make a logo for my mum because she's starting a earring business on Etsy. And I'm thinking we can engrave this keyring with her logo on it when I make it. And then she can use that. ready for Valentine's really. I think a little bit smaller. Perfect. And here is the final result. So today is the day of the Patreon launch and I'm just, I'm going to meet up with Beck and Kaylee soon in Starbucks. I have a few errands to run so my patrons get a full 24 hours VIP access to the shop update before anyone else. And things have sold out during my Patreon launches before, which always makes me nervous but always like, I'm so proud, I'm so glad that people who want to buy these things before they sell out, they get the chance to have them excited about that i've left my stand of my parents house so i have you currently balancing on a pile of mugs my mum has been making clay earrings since last summer and she has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pairs that she's made <laughs> and i'm like you need to start an etsy shop like you have to be selling these i love them but yeah it's really nice helping them out it's nice to see them so passionate about something so creative and so different to what I do as well. I have to pack, what is this order? Two pins. It is another beautiful day today. It's so bright and sunny. There's not one cloud in the sky. And it's days like these where I just feel super energetic. Like I am solar powered. Three 
three minutes to go until the Patreon shop update is live. We have two minutes to go. Everything should automatically go live anyway. I'm not doing an email or an announcement on Instagram because this is just for Patreon. So I have a post scheduled to go live on Patreon at 6 p.m. Less than a minute to go. This is the first launch that I've done that doesn't include sweaters or t-shirts. It's six o'clock. It is six o'clock. There's active carts already, so that must mean that they're live. Yes, they are. Oh, six items. A to-do list, a sticker, and then a craft pouch and both of the washi tapes. Love this view. Like people from all over the world. A mug. Make it magic mug. A washi tape around the world. Oh, both the washi tapes. A make it magic craft pouch and a make it magic mug. Oh, Cardi's pin and a Make It Magic washi tape. Thank you. I love the way this page looks, by the way. Let me show you. So this is my patron exclusive shop. And here's all the new items. Oh, there's another one. Honestly, I have the best, the best patrons in all the world. Make It Magic craft pouch. We don't have many pouches left. Happy Mail's tote bag, making magic tote bag, and a making magic washi tape. Mm. Making magic washi tape, and some stickers, and an art print. Thank you so much. I think I'm going to end this here because it's all gone good. It's all gone fine. I love my Patreons. Thank you so, so much for shopping the VIP launch. I just hope tomorrow goes smoothly it should do it i just need to move all the products over into their relevant categories tomorrow and actually market it to the wide world rather than just patreon tomorrow so yeah i'll see you tomorrow good evening it is oh, it is what's the time 10 quarter to six on a friday it is about 40 minutes to go until the public launch of everything in the shop and i've been busy today preparing things for the online public release so doing the instagram posts the stories the reels the tiktoks the marketing the emails preparing the website putting the password on making sure all the navigation menu is correct because i have oh my gosh there's people on we're still quite early there's people waiting yeah i've i've had to make new categories on the navigation menu for like my mugs and also the washi tape so i've just moved things around a bit and zhuzhed up the website so i put a password on this time that i don't usually do but because i had to make adjustments to the navigation and the way the website works that's what i had to do so we have 13 minutes to go and there's people waiting on the website with the pass like on the password page. So I'll try and show you how the website looks. There we go. So that makes more sense. And we have the mugs in their mug section here. And we have the washi tape in the washi tape section. And where else we have bags? We have the new pouch, the Make It Magic craft pouch here. So now all I have to do is just take off the password at 6 p.m. So we have 10 minutes. I get so nervous when people are waiting. Oh, I don't know why. I think it's because I haven't done a... It's, it's just the number's just growing. I think it's because I haven't done a launch in a long time. This is my first launch that doesn't include sweaters or t-shirts. And there's people waiting and it makes me nervous. We have two minutes to go and then I'm gonna remove the password. <sighs> One minute. Okay, remove password. Remove password, remove password. Store. Should be open, let's check, let's check, let's check. It's open, my banners are up, the new items are up. So many people, there's so many people. It's just jumped up, okay, breathe. Okay, first order, first order. Simone got a craft pouch. Thank you, Simone. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's so many people online. Oh my god, I didn't expect this. Susie, thank you so much. One more chapter t-shirt and a Make Your Magic craft pouch. Happy Mail Days tote bag in pink and both of the washi tapes, thank you. Goodness me, goodness me. Emma, Make Your Magic tote bag and Make Your Magic craft pouch, thank you so much. Vicky, Make Your Magic, Make Magic. I can't talk. Make a magic craft pouch. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, hey, baby. You want to say hi? Look, buddy. Look, buddy. Oh, 
<laughs> Waiting for them to finish work, aren't you? He knows that like 5, 6 p.m. is my cutoff time. 50? 51? No, this is crazy. Making magic craft pouch and around the world washi tape. How many craft pouches do I have left? Because I did. Oh my goodness! We have two left. We have two. Thank you. Hope you love everything. It's never gonna get old. It's, it's this is never gonna get old. I was so worried. Because it's the first one I've done without t-shirts, without sweaters. It's my first washi tape, my first mugs, my first craft pouch. They're all new things. I just hope that everyone else that's able to get their hands on them now loves them as much as I do. It's only five past six. It's five minutes past six. You guys never, you never fail to amaze me. I think everyone's got a washi tape. Okay, so my plans for the rest of this evening it is Friday, it is seven minutes past six. I am going out to meet my sister, celebrate this this launch that's gone wild. I feel like I was really quiet about it. I feel like I didn't share enough about it. Um, I don't know, it's, it's hard. I find it hard to like market things and promote things because I come from a creative design illustration background and we just want to create. If you're anything like me, you know, you find the business side of things quite hard. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure how, I wasn't sure how it was going to go and it's exceeded, my God, it's exceeded all my expectations. So thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm mind blown. I'm absolutely mind blown. I'm going to end this vlog here. I need to edit it. And I want to say thank you so, so much for an incredible start to 2024. And I can't wait to see what the rest of the year has in store for Coco Natasha. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will speak to you soon.